three. Well, hello folks, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, a day late on Sundag. Uh, yeah, so we uh, we got a bit uh, waylaid yesterday. Uh, all this football nonsense uh, has started again. Terrible. So I was watching uh, the tournament uh, uh, in France where both the uh, Rangers and Celtic were playing. Um, so that was, uh, I had, and I'd, I'd forgot, I'd invited someone round, my friend Peter, and so we, we watched uh, some of the old match. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so all good. Uh, a couple of things uh, that uh, kindly, there's a few song requests. Uh, let me just check to see if I've got that other email. There was another email came in. Oh, we're not connected. That's not so good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's whatever. La 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 la. Uh, so yeah, we're not connected, which is not a good thing. But that's all right. The sun is splitting the stones out there. Um and it's all quiet and uh, but we had a couple of requests from uh, a couple of people so we'll try and do uh, a few uh, requests but it's nice to see you all I probably should close that because that is that is quite mental that's a bit too mental for this time of the day if you know what I'm saying um yeah so um yeah there hasn't uh, sort of working on uh, new material as I was saying that was kind of the reason why um, why we kind of uh, took a wee gap in the uh, oh that's a chord in uh, the sort of vlogs which we all kind of agreed it would have been very difficult to keep them up on a daily basis um, although some people have done it I know Doogie McLean is still Doogie's way into 40 concerts or something I think he does like two or three a week, um, rock on the Dugster. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so we, uh, I decided that maybe that was a bit, a bit mental. Just gonna turn that up a wee bit. Um, so yeah, so there's, um, it's all been go uh, around this neck of the woods. Um, just as I say, just working on uh, new material. Uh, Joe and I have been in touch, just working out on different sounds uh, for Caesar, and uh, just discussing uh, the the likelihood of the new record. Um, we're also I mentioned to you last week we're in discussions uh, about something quite exciting, and I can kind of sort of tell you that we're we're uh, discussing um, doing one of the songs with an orchestra incredible uh, full uh, full orchestra which will be amazing um, a full symphony of, of just lovely things I think that's a symphonic orchestra so oh there's the lark strain hello again hello have you been in Glasgow this evening go home and get yourself some foie gras but it's getting late, and JJ's a day too late with his vlog, the little shite. So bonjour and bonsoir and uh, uh, golden tag and, and uh, 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 buenas tardes and uh, way to go, buddy, for the Canadians. Uh, oh, sorry, way to go, A, for the Canadians and anybody else that's listening in if you're in America. Way to go, buddy. Go get them. Um, uh, God, he must have some trouble with that prick Trump. He's really been laying it on. Um, so anyway, uh, somebody asked me to sing this song, so why don't we do a little tune? A little tune, yeah. flowers to me today before the war actually let's start off with the right words um sorry about that <laughs> uh 
a wee bit of background. I wrote this song. Um, I think I, t- I mentioned it before about when my father, when my father was dying, and um, uh, I wrote this song. Spent a bit. I was spending a bit of time on the beach with my then girlfriend Anya, an Irish girl, lovely girl, and I and I wrote it then and played it to her. And she thought it was fitting, so it'd be nice to get the words right. the chords You brought flowers to me before Before the war of words was ever known And now I walked in circles to the door I knew that everything was lost but still I had my fingers crossed and oh, in my mind I can drift back in time in There is a wee middle eight, but I couldn't remember it there. In my mind, I am fine, and I am fine. In my mind, that's wrong anyway. Anyway, um, so, yeah, um, 
so uh, yeah, kind of. It never made any album. That I think it made uh, the Jersey sessions when I brought the demos out because I wanted to let everybody hear Demos, uh, Demos's magic work. Who's a lovely, lovely, is a lovely friend of mine in Jersey. Uh, recorded all of that early stuff. Um, marvelous is uh, is our Demos, uh, and um, yeah. So I've got the old guitar out, um, and uh, somebody asked me to do another song that I haven't done for ages. Um, sounds good. I brought the old Martin out. I was going to play that for you today, but. There's a wee buzzing coming from it, so it's going back to the the hospital tomorrow. Oh yeah, I must try and see if I can find the proper lyrics of this song. Um, probably not. Uh, uh, let's see what comes up. Nothing. Yeah, a recording comes up of it, but that's not what we're looking for. Uh, blame. Yeah, just the the recording and the Jersey sessions, but no, uh, no lyrics. Um, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, but I heard a wee bit of the. <laughs> that key at least it gave us the key anyway I don't know if you can hear that in the background there where'd you drop the anchor when you lost at sea when you look for answers you can always find Where'd you see the city Falling to its knees When the lights go out And you scream and plead Cause I am a rock Under the sea I am the place I'm the disease I am the monsters Inside your head I'll creep inside your bed When you see a mother Fall into her knees When you see those words And the screaming please And when you see a fighter Moving for the kill When the rope gets tighter and blood starts to spill Cause I am a rock under the sea I am the plague I'm the disease I am the monsters inside your bed I'll creep inside your head I am a rock under the sea I am the plague I'm the disease I am the monsters inside your head I am the bullets making you red I am the lord of all you see I'll creep inside your
Where did you drop the anchor? When you lost at sea. <laughs> I wish you could remember the words of these songs, whoever wrote them. Um, terrible. I should be ashamed of myself. And I am. I am indeed ashamed of myself. It's not right. It's not right. Oh, yeah. Hello to our friends down in England with that terrible accent. Um, let's read you a little bit of poetry from our dear friend here. Um, this is a, um, by, I've read this one before, but I like it. It's uh, by Derek Mahon. Or Derek, Derek Mahon. It's called Everything is Going to Be All Right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Maybe not that one. How should I not be glad to contemplate the clouds clearing beyond the dormer window and a high tide reflected on the ceiling? There will be dying, there will be dying, but there is no need to go into that. The poem flow, sorry, the poems flow from the hand unbidden and the hidden source is the watchful heart. The sun rises in spite of everything and the far sight cities are beautiful and bright. I lie here in a riot of sunlight, watching the daybreak and the clouds flying. Everything is going to be all right. Lovely. Thank you, Derek. And let's hope that everything is going to be all right. And I mean that. Um, I had a terrible uh, story. I'll just go quickly go into uh, the condition for this from our dear friend William Seacart. It says it's a need for reassurance. It's also suitable for anxiety depression, general fear, fear of mortality and pessimism. Well, I mean, I suffer from most of those. Um, uh, certainly anxiety and depression played a big part in my life. So let's just see what our friend's saying here. There are moments in life when the bane all suddenly and quite without warning becomes the transcendent. Perhaps a shaft of afternoon light paints a familiar view on an unfamiliar gold. Perhaps dust in a sunbeam or the dance of sparks above a fire transport you for a long instant to somewhere else altogether. The almost magical seeming reflections of ripples on a ceiling are transfixing in just the same way. In moments like these awestruck moments when the f ferocious beauty of the everyday catches us unawares, we are often moved to reassessment. One flash of sunlight can be all it takes to give us the sense of possibility that can change everything. As a great sufferer from depression myself, I find a small moment like this, a sudden splash of serenity and beauty can provide the impetus needed to turn my mood around. Not completely perhaps, and not permanently, but sometimes a small push as is all any of us is waiting for. Derek Mahone's poem, Everything is going to be all right, describes wonderfully the feeling of that little push and reassessment. And there's something hugely powerful too about its final line. When my children are suffering, I hold them in my arms. It seems to be the most natural mantra in the world. Everything will be all right. There's a comfort to those words, whether or not they'll provide to be true, or they're sorry, they'll prove to be true. Of course, some wounds don't heal, and some wrongs go unrighted. But in the grander sense, in the, the everything sense, things do tend to be all right. Too often our pain is either in our heads or magnified beyond all proportion. If we can learn to manage it, if we can find the oasis of calm in the reflection of the waves, then we might find that our problems are not as all-consuming as we imagined. We might find that in the end, everything really will be all right. Isn't that lovely? Joseph Donnelly, thank you very much for this book, The Poetry Pharmacy. There we are, folks. What a gorgeous book and what a lovely looking little book as well. And it's on cover splendour. Um, thank you for that, Joe. Um, yeah, so I um, just heard some tragic news of a, a sad lady that had taken her own life uh, recently here in... Um, and I just want to remind everybody again that um, there's some real reflections in that poem there that resonated with me, um, particularly that little glimpse of 
the sun as it's out there just now just hitting your face and sometimes just reminding you that uh that you're going to be all right that that um that the trials and and the and the heaval and the and the, all the 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 terrible stuff that's happening in the world and personally to you too um uh, can be gathered and you can learn to live with it and and um and 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 uh and you know and just uh be assured of it that um that one day peace will come um i'm a great believer in that i'm a great believer in um you know against all the odds i had the probably the last two years of my life have been the worst two years that i've ever had um i've had certainly had some terrible times before but th these in particular were were uh were um were heavy um you know so uh yeah it'll be all right everything will be all right So, yeah, I mean, um, the, uh, and I was just trying to think then if I, I would do, um, someone who was asking me as well about this book, I mean, I, I, this is a brilliant book, this, and I, I take pictures of it every day and put, put a little post up, but I always think, just when I, I, I usually think, oh, okay, it's getting too much, I've taken, it's getting too repetitive, somebody writes to me and, and says, Oh, where did you, where are these quotes coming from? Are they your drawings? Or that is a fantastic book, and I read that every day, a page from that every day, and have my own little mantra that I carry on the nonsense that I do to try and sort my head out in the morning. I've got to try and play a wee bit of uh, the Cowboy Lament, which was, but I have to tune it. So it's tuned to open E for any guitar players. And we hope it will last. Oh. should be it <laughs> goes up quite a bit <laughs> always send me these lovely challenges um and most people know about this song anyway the cowboy lament uh i just hope that one day a nice country artist will do this proud and um and i'll make some money from it there Christ it's, 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 I'm glad we're not a gig I'm glad you're not paying for this shite the preacher said son it just don't fit 
And your friends and folks wouldn't hear of it Your heart is set and you will not quit Till you get her Cause her mystic dance has got you in a spin And it's one step closer to the world she's in You follow her and you won't give in Till you get her Oh, but how do you fit a square dance To a beat that doesn't go How do you sell a romance To a world that doesn't know How can we be together When we're a million miles apart How do you say I love you from the heart Let's start it again, yeah. Because I know I can play it better. And it's finding its tuning as well. Don't show this video to anybody. If I could pick it, the preacher said, Son, it just don't fit, and your friends and folks wouldn't hear of it. Your heart is set, and you will not quit. Till you get her Cause her mystic dance has got you in a spin And it's one step closer to the world she's in You follow her and you won't give in Till you get her Oh but how do you fit a square dance To a beat that doesn't go How do you sell a romance to a world that doesn't know How can we be together When we're a million miles apart How do you say I love you from the heart So you settle up and you head for Vegas It's a ten day ride but you know you make it you gotta go to the Flamingo Show just to see her You can tell her there that she's heaven sent You can reach inside her with your own man Gotta let her know that you're so hell-bent that you need her For fuck's sake, get the chords right Oh, but how do you fit a square dance? To a beat that doesn't go How do you sell a romance To a world that doesn't know How can we be together When we're a million miles apart How do you say I love you From the heart <laughs> you know why I have uh, Phil Kane and Graham Duffin and all these wonderful musicians to play uh, these songs because I can never do them you see a sign in this beauty's dance that the cowboy kid has a real real chance his love could slip like a grain of sand through your fingers you would follow her to the eastern skies You'd leave the west and your life behind she you love her more than the stars can shine up in heaven 
Oh, but how do you fit a square dance to a beat that doesn't go? How do you sell a romance to a world that doesn't know? How can we be together when we were a million miles apart? How do you say I love you? Oh, and how do you say I love you? How do you say I love you from the heart? My God. Apologies. <laughs> Apologies by JJ Gilmore. Apologies by me. Um, yeah, so I've got a new song uh, that I've been working on, and I, 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 thankfully I won't be able to play it for you after playing as disastrously as I, as, as disastrously as I have. <laughs> Can't even remember how it goes now. kind of up-tempo thing um, and I think I've got a good little chorus for it I think it's going rather well in the chorus but I'm not sure um, but yeah we're getting somewhere with it um, Murdered the Cowboy Lament there Oh my Well I 
keep my sense of humor And I laugh about it all someday But I'm lonely again Left with the pain that'll never go away Probably guessed, I can't remember the words. Now it's trouble here and trouble there. Last night I dreamed of you, my love. Wind blew up. The Covers up in the bed, my lonely bed. I dreamed of something you said. Yet it's better to have loved, yeah, it's better to have loved. I pulled in a was a kitten dress, nothing but an empty shell. And there's one more shot. Pulled out of the parking lot for the moonlight motel. She was boarded up and gone. I could watch summer song, nothing but an empty shell. Who didn't stop to 
my old spot at the Moonlight Hotel. Great song. Sorry, Bruce. <laughs> A lot of apologies tonight. So, yeah. Um, great song. There's a spot on a blank stretch of road where nobody travels, nobody goes, and the desk man here says, Come round here to young folk, so probably up and disappear. And, uh, yeah, what a tune! What a tune! Um, so yeah, pretty quiet actually. The foxes are getting bigger and, and, and they're easily, they're a lot more startled now. They're a lot more aware of noise. So a quick update of what's happening. Oh, I think the sun's dipped away. We can bring a bit of light back into the vibe. Um, pull the drapes back, man. Um, so yeah, the wee foxes are, are floating about and um, I only see one or two of them now. I don't see her bringing out like five or six like she did. Um, and Prick's Bridge has been pretty quiet, uh, hasn't been much um, activity there, that's been going um, going quite well, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, the bikes, I'm still interested in the bikes, if anybody knows of bikes, uh, I'm still collecting them, my garage is getting fuller by the day, um, uh, so I'm, I'm now hanging nails on the rafters in the garage so that I can hang bikes so that at least I can drive the car in. It's quite a high garage, which is good. Um, but yeah, so the our friend Alan is kindly finding homes for them, taking a little bit longer to um, to, uh, to 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 home them, but we want to find the best, best uh, possible homes. So yeah, if you've got anything like that or scooters, I'm happy to take them uh, and come and collect them now, now that we don't have any sort of travel restrictions. Um and uh, yeah and just and if you can just keep keep giving to to the food banks and stuff it's a tough time for a lot of people out there um you know I was noticing um a musician that, that uh, and a very very nice fellow uh, a big guy called Finley Napier and uh, I was noticing in his uh, his page the other day that he was putting up in the um his tip jar and it's a tough time for musicians um. And uh, I'm noticing as the time is getting on and on and getting closer to like the Paisley gig that's coming up um, and potential other gigs. We've also obviously got Jinky Bells, uh, uh, or my hometown town gig. Uh, well, the town next to my hometown, Airdrie, next to Coat Bridge, which I usually play every year. We just have to wait and see for that too. And... Um, and uh, and then we'll see what happens so yeah other than that we're just uh, i'm writing some songs um and planning uh, planning is what we can do at the moment we can plan because we know that uh, life will come back um so for the moment uh, the, the only thing that uh, that i can do that um, is is offer some handwritten lyrics um and if you are interested in buying some handwritten lyrics please write to me at uh, jjgilmore at gmail.com um they're totally handwritten by me wrapped and sealed in nice um tissue paper on a really nice quality paper put in a nice tube and posted directly with any special you know dedications or whatever um it might be a nice uh, thing for for you if, if you like what i do as a lyricist uh, i got a lovely line uh, from um a, a kind gentleman that bought brought uh, bought lyrics last week and he was talking about, I guess that's why they call it moving on. And he quoted saying, where do you find lyrics like, my life in here will not be marked on postage stamps or photographs or suits that just don't fit me anymore. I've turned the key, it's all inside. My memories I hold with pride. And I guess that's why they call it moving on. You never know where all that stuff's coming from, but out it comes. Um, if only we could learn like from the great Bob Dylan. And um, I watched uh, a thing that I would suggest for you to watch. Uh, it's the best I've heard him singing for years. Was the big guy Gary Lightbody from uh, Snow Patrol. 
and he was on uh, him and his uh, two bandmates, um, uh, young guy from Derry in Ireland that I knew, Johnny, uh, that I met a few times a few years ago, um, who's writing songs with everybody now, um, Johnny McDaid and the guitarist from Snow Patrol did a three-way thing uh, for the key sessions uh, and they repeated it last night. It was from 2018. Really, really good. Really worth a watch. Uh, Big Gary's singing like a demon and those lovely... If I lay here, if I just lay here... Whatever. However that... Dum -dum 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 where we are... Something like that, Anna. I can't quite know where to roam, where to roam, where to go. If I lay here, if I just lay. Lovely we changed that. Yeah, nice. Very nice, Gary. Anyway, I guess that'll do us. Um, as I say, if you want some lyrics, write to me, jjgilmore at gmail.com. Uh, any more requests? I did two or three there, murdered them. Um, it's, it's all about just talking to you. I couldn't give a shite whether it sounds good or bad. As long as you enjoy it, that's the main thing. For me, it's a bit of fun. I enjoy doing it. It's nice to talk to you. Uh, have a good Sunday. Sorry, it's a wee bit later. It'll probably be about 10 o'clock by the time you get this tonight. Um, lots of love, stay happy, remember if you're struggling, speak to someone, drop me an email, jjgilmore at gmail.com, who knows, I could pass you on to uh, some people, yeah, there's lots of nicer people out there, there's a, a lovely girl for, that does Back On Side, um, which is a mental health charity, so there's lots of help out there, take care, bye bye from Pricks Bridge, the foxes say goodbye, the logs train on the way home and uh, we'll see you soon. Toot!